I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for a bikini bottom undersea party. Has 471 pieces. You get this really rocking out SpongeBob set. Of course, everybody is in their party gear. Get Mrs. Puff, Gary, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Mr. Squidward. Looking all mopey as usual. You get a nice lot of pieces. Of course, you get the two famous buildings of Squidward House and the SpongeBob House. And on the back here, we see that Mr. Patrick is DJing the party in his groovy glasses. You have this nice cake throwing seesaw. Mrs. Puff just swirling around by herself, which is kind of lonely. It's nice little pieces here. So let's go ahead and build it and take a look at it. We're going to start off with Mr. Mopey himself, Squidward. Of course, he has a really simple top piece in his no-pants bottom. That's why he's so sad, because he's naked all the time. has this nice pink feature on his chest, because he is unique to the set. It is his party dress. He has the lay on him. Of course, he has the unique mold of a head. And here's short Mrs. Puff. Of course, he, she is the blowfish of the set. She is a nice little piece. Of course, her hat is a simple peg. And then her body is this really interesting piece that just kind of lines up there. And ta-da. Hey, here's short Mr. Gary, the snail. Of course, he is the regular snail with the two-sided peg. To create the little snail piece. Of course these are the cherry pieces. Really nice simple build. I wish they would find a different color clip here. Maybe they will in the future. And here's short Mr. Spongebob. Of course he is not wearing his regular square pants. He is wearing red square pants. I guess this is his party square pants. Has the nice lay there with blue flowers. And the really excited face. And here is my favorite minifigure of the set. It is Rockin' Patrick. He's got some weird red dots on him with the cool designer shades and the lay and the belly button and the front printed of his Rockin' Beach shorts. It's one of the first things you get to build. Of course, you could see here you could spin these. They're supposed to have a sticker on here. These are the turntable. Really nice little build. Of course, you have the buttons here and the turntable pieces in front of the grassy area and I really like these speakers they are actually a treasure chests just turn on the side put a little detailing on it to make it look like two big booming speakers and some tiki torches underwater you explain that one I don't really know either fire underwater who cares it's a spongebob party and here's the nice little playground build of course it is the spinning build has a nice umbrella. You could sit four people on here and spin around and sling people out while they're throwing up because they're going too fast. Here's another real simple build. It is just a seesaw, just for a little bit of detailing, a little bit of fun. Of course, you can hit it and someone can just get thrown off of it. Mr. Gary, you just hit it and he'll go flying off. Here's another feature of the set that I like. This is the snack bar. Of course, you have drinks, this really cool cake, which is just a simple ridged round piece with a white top to replicate frosting. You have a nice little ice cream bar underneath here and of course these really cool balloon builds. And these two are just held together by a single Technic red peg and of course you get some nice green palm leaves. And here's one of the buildings of the set. This is Mr. Squidward's house. Of course you have the door on the front. The really cool statue-esque figure on the front with the big eyes. Really love all the angles on this. You have various angles to create the face. Very detailed on the front. And of course on the back you have a lot of detailings as well. Of course you have this gift right here which sits in there quite nicely. This lamp. Nice little sitting area and the entranceway 
for his music section. So let's get a little bit closer. Of course, you get a lot of stickers. And in this one, you can have the two Squidward pictures sitting in here and the music note page for the details in here. Of course, he has this lamp which lights his area here, which has two pictures of him. A little bit of artwork there. Nice little table and a chair for him to sit at. Then if you go to the lower levels, this is where the music sheet is supposed to be because, of course, sitting right here is Squidward's famous clarinet. You have a nice little plant sitting in there as well. Just a little bit of detailing for his house. And here's, of course, the famous pineapple under the sea. I like this one better than the Older versions, it seems a lot more compact, a lot more like a pineapple. Of course, you have this door on the front, nice little detailings everywhere, nice pieces here that are unique. They are windows that are rounded off and printed on, so really nice pieces. So on the inside, it just opens up pretty easily, which you can see a little bit more details. You have his bed here, which you can lay him down, and he can just be shot out because he likes to wake up in the morning. Nice little plant. You have a lot of stickers in here as well. You know, pictures of Squidward and Gary, and of course the little alarm clock sits there. And then on the far side, there is a small dish for Gary the snail to be eating out of. So just a little bit of detailings on the inside of that, of course can wrap it back up into a pineapple. I actually prefer this pineapple in comparison to the other ones. And one reason that I like this set, which you might be shocked, is the fact that there are stickers. Yes, I know your jaws just dropped. I just said I like stickers in the set. And why do I like stickers in the set? Because if you want just the regular SpongeBob house, and you don't want all the party decals all the time, you can just have this. And it looks like Spongebob's house on a regular day. Of course, this is a way better build right here. This piece right here does not fall off as easily as the older builds. It is a lot more sturdy. So I like the fact that there's stickers. I like the fact that it is more sturdy for Spongebob's house. So that was just a quick overview of all the pieces that you get in this set. You get five really cool minifigures. One thing that I like about the Spongebob sets... So pretty much every time you buy a Spongebob set, you get a new style, a minifigure, whether it be Pirate Spongebob or Party Spongebob, they're all normally different. These are probably the best that I have seen of these two buildings, so if you just want the Spongebob house and the Squidward house, you would definitely want to pick this one up because these are the nicest ones that I've seen. Excellent price point for a licensed set, sitting at around 10.5 cents per piece so I'm definitely gonna give this guy a build it and this has been another doctor review hope you liked it if you did hit that like button it's not too hard to do and of course subscribe so that you know when new videos are coming this has been another real quick doctor review and this is me signing out